we're now going to have a look at creating our floor slab. So floor command, I'm going to use the architectural floor and I'm going to create my own floor construction for this. So I'm using, um, I don't want to use that one because that's a suspended floor. I'll do a ground floor bearing, but edit the type because I do want to change it a bit. So we've got um, sand blinding, I'll just up 25 mil. I'm going to put the insulation on the bottom and make it 100 of that. And I'm going to get rid of the screed and just have concrete. So 150 concrete. Say OK. Now let's actually oop, edit that structure to match. move that up one as well. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got a little problem with our um, layers there. We'll change that. Uh, no, that should be that. So what have we got? Doesn't like us having that, I don't think. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay. So let's say OK to that. And now we're ready to actually draw it. So I want it projecting beyond the steel frame because I'm going to be building a cavity wall construction around the outside at ground floor level and then having cladding on the upper floor. So I'm going to use that command. Now I'm just going to draw a rough box around the building and then I'm going to zoom in after pressing escape a couple of times there. Oop. Right, so that's 900 from the centre of our steel beam. They're 305s, so we could say just over 150. Now my wall construction is going to be 350, so I'm going to need a bit more than 500, so I'll say 550. There we go. All right. And then we can go around the building doing that, just changing the dimensions, making it nice and neat and consistent. All right. And that one's put itself in the wrong place. So I'll just do that there. OK, so we've got our ground floor slab. Let's tick. And let's look at that in 3D. Oh, it's at the wrong level. Forgot to change the level. Ground floor. There we go. Much better. All right. So there's our slab. Now, because I'm going to be building a cavity wall around that lower level, like I said, I'm going to add a toe to that. All right. So if we... There we go, floor slab edge. And we can just click around there, like so. All right, I'm not going to, uh, yeah, I'll do it on that side as well. Why not? There we go. OK, so that's our slab done. But I do want to just highlight something. Now, if we want to put a section through this. So let's go to the view tab, do a section, slice the building there, and let's go have a little look at that section. Oh, let's change the detail level. Okay, so we can see that we've got concrete by here, and we've got the hardcore by there. So that's not so nice looking. All right, it doesn't look quite right. So what I'm going to do is actually, if we do a annotate 
region filled region all right we can actually draw around this area okay and we can then edit the type and instead of having diagonal crosshatch we can change that to a more suitable like concrete and there we go and now it'll actually match a bit better so that's just something we can do to tidy that up but that completes our ground floor slab